everybody and welcome back to the Nasty Talks. Today we are having a second part interview with Felix in which we are going to dig deep into Felix's past and find out the most embarrassing stories of his life. So get ready for some kinky stuff. Hello guys, I'm back. <laughs> and we're happy that you're back. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here again. It was so fun last time. It was yeah. very fun. It yeah. was really nice to learn about your experience, how you came out, how you yeah. managed to deal with your inner self and the part of you that wanted to be out and yeah. to also communicate that with your parents, uh, with your family, you know, and your friends and a little bit about your dating. And I wanted to know some spicy stuff, maybe oh, about okay, about okay, your okay. dating. Do you I'm have anything? Start like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything funny? Anything like out of regular, out of normal that happened in a on a date or maybe with somebody? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I remember that for so, for I don't I don't remember I don't remember how many years it was. I think I believe it was six seven years ago. I was on a festival here in Roskilde. I don't know if you heard about Roskilde Festival. Yeah, I've heard. It's, it's uh, one of Ros the biggest, yeah. uh, Roskilde is a city in. It's a city. Uh, it's a city here in uh, in Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, and they have like a big festival. Yeah, it's one yeah. of the biggest in Scandinavia. In Scandinavia, it's it's, mm. it's huge. Yeah. And I've never been there before. Uh, but I, you know, you know what happens. That happen a lot of things at festivals. So I'm gonna. Oh I, yeah. <laughs> I was staying there with some friends, and we we even have a camp in, uh, with Hawaii theme. Yeah. And we was there for one week. And in this week, I met a guy there and he was so hot. I mean, he was so hot, but I wouldn't have sex with him because cause I, I knew that a lot of guys there and girls doesn't bath. Yeah. For many for oh, three yeah. or four, year, four days before they take a shower. And yeah, because there. they stay in tents and, yeah, yeah. and get drunk and, you know, they sleep with anything they have on. And so I was like, I'm not going to have sex with, nope, I'm nope. not going to do it. <laughs> and then this guy, he was, you know, he was just kept... And I, I'm not stupid. I knew, I knew that he wanted to have sex with me. You know, at this point, I knew it. And I was like, listen, if you, if, if you, we're going to do it, then you have to take a shower. <sighs> but the shower there are public. You yeah. know, it's closed, but yeah, everyone, and but we still. are two guys. It's so, but, but you can see the other guy. Like, you know, like the, when you go to a swimming pool, for yeah, example, yeah. you share the same you share the, area. The bathroom, yeah. yeah. And we went there, and I believe we went there. Well, I thought it was, late but it was nine o'clock in the evening in my head it was uh, we were drunk in yeah, my okay. head it was probably one few in the morning but no it wasn't at all no. <laughs> okay <laughs> so we went there both of us and we paid for it because i want a warm shower and yeah we just... was there still light outside but yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, listen you could anybody could see it if they want to like we didn't even bother hide ourselves like we okay. were just seeing a freak like a porn star like, like look look and the <laughs> And there was a lot of people walking by, but you have to go inside to see it. But it's yeah. a it's a public area. Like if you a guy you want to take a shower and you go there, you can see me. You could, could see us there. Yeah. <laughs> but we were so drunk. Oh gosh, we were drunk. So we started having um, we, we we kissed and we started touching each other under the shower. It was getting very steamy, you know. Oh. Warm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I went down on him and gave him a motherfucking nice blowjob and then he gave me a blowjob and then he turned me around against the wall and we oh. and we just went at it at, we, we did use condom because that's another story uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah we did we I always use condom that's good uh, yeah that's always safe. always well not with my boyfriends but they're boyfriends yeah well and then now uh, we were on it we were we were doing it and oh it was good Oh, it was nice. Oh. And then a huge, I, I think, I believe it was like 15 guys. Yeah, can you know, the, I think, I believe they yeah. knew each other because they were talking and laughing. Mm -hmm. They just went in. They went in when we were in the middle of everything. Oh. Like, if you want to talk, we we left the towel, like, I believe, like 15 meters because it's a huge area. Yeah. So if something happened, like, you have to run. <laughs> And get get the towel. Yeah, no, no time. There's no time. There was no time. So they definitely saw us. We, they definitely saw for you know what. And so they were laughing. So I run, you know, I run, and we we both run with the dicks hard all over the place, and oh. we run to toast the towel, and then I fell because there was so oh all over God. the. It was like in the movie. <laughs> It was so embarrassed. I left it now, but it was the one I actually never told nobody. Yes, the one I was with in the camp, I told about the story because I was yeah. still drunk. <laughs> so I ran and then I fell, fell because the, the floor was uh, uh, slippery. Was right? slippery. Yeah. 
uh, because of the soap. So I fell and then I tried to get up, but I was drunk, so I was running like tic tac to, to the and then I, and the guys were still laughing and I, I and <laughs> I can actually imagine can you, you imagine? with some soap into your booty <laughs> and I to the cheeks just running at the <laughs> you know, and, and not only that, I was so drunk, so I, I, wasn't, I wasn't even running straight. It was like, <laughs> you know, oh my God, like a movie. And then I finally, I took my towel and, you know, took yeah, it around, it around. My, my, my hip. And the other thing is, if you want to go from there and leave the place, you have to go through the entrance with all of these guys. Who, oh my God, oh. Like the, this is the alternative <laughs> walk of shame. This is the yes. alternative walk oh of, my God, of yes. let me say, sh running of shame. Yeah. So I took the shower and I was trying to hide my little face, you know, running through all these guys that was laughing and naked also because they were taking a shower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my friend, the guy that I was having sex with, he was behind me, tried to, you know, to, to, uh, to, to hide from the... And he was yeah. like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, let's just run. Let's run. And I was, still, I was in my head, I was running so fast, but I was drunk, so I was working. <laughs> I was probably even walking. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably walking. So we oh walked from there, and I was oh, shit, I forgot my, we didn't have, I have to go back again and take my, my under. Oh, was, my God. <laughs> and there was, listen, those guys, they were having so much fun. that They were laughing oh, so I hard that imagine. some of them were just, Laying down the, 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 you know, on the floor, laughing, laughing? crying yeah. about it. <laughs> I, I don't think it was even about the sex. It's no, everything it that happens the after the situation yeah. that I failed and I was drunk and then I have to go back. And then... <laughs> oh my God. So I took my, uh, my, my clothes and then I, you know, I just hurry up. I, I still had soap in, me, in my hair and yeah. it was a mess. And then I finally, oh my God. And then when I went from there, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. Then I went back to the camp. I ran, I ran back to the camp with the other guys there. And, you know, and I was shaking because I was, you know, I never experienced this, but I liked it, the adrenaline. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, it was oh good, God. right? It was public so sex. good. Public <laughs> sex. And I like, and I was caught. And yes. it was better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So I told my friends in the camp about it and they called me the locker room hoe. I don't know why. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. But it was definitely uh, uh, an experience. Uh, but I, and I never tried that kind of adrenaline. Uh, no, yeah. And I liked it. There was, you know, I liked yeah. to, to get caught. I was a little bit, I'm a little bit nasty. I never thought that I would like. It. I'm always very careful where, mm -hmm. where I'm, uh, I, I do the sex. Well, I was not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I like you're it. maybe also a bit of an attention whore, maybe. kind of like right. You like to be in the spotlight. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that was actually that was, even that like was the work. best act I have on stage before. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> on stage before. Better than singing in the band. Better than anything. A lot else. better. A <laughs> yeah. lot better. Maybe I should be a porn star. Who knows? Ooh, who knows? <laughs> uh, they don't pay well. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will never be a porn star. No, but that's not my thing. But but I did like it. I did like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then we had sex the other day too. Not there, definitely not there. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Well, that was one of my. You stories. were selling tickets for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, baby. <laughs> entrance. I was like, come on, everybody, come to the show. But it was, it was so embarrassing. That was the first time I was caught. Was it the only time you were caught? Oh no, 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 no. no. But the, the second time they, they didn't see my face because I was having oh. sex with another. I was actually. I wasn't here. I was in Spain. Yeah. In Sitges. Oh. Yeah, Sitges. You know, it's like the gay town in Spain. Like, yeah. yeah there's go a, wild or go I'm, home. Exactly. And I <laughs> yeah. was there while the pride was on, you know, in the ah, middle of the week. Nice. And I was so drunk. And I, some days, a few days ago, I, we met, I was there with two other friends. We met two guys from, I believe it was Holland. Uh, yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. The sex and, was good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they were so hard. They were partners. But I knew. I'm not. Again, I knew. It's, it's about the, the look. It's about the way they they respond to my words and my way of being. Yeah. And we were on a gay beach also. So I knew they were okay, interested yeah. in, in me, both of them. Oh. So there was like, like, would you like to do something with us? With Yeah. Oh, and so I was you like, had a threesome. Well, a threesome, exactly. Oh, so wow. we had a threesome on the beach. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's you know on the beach they have to do this long. Um, yeah, um, 
yeah, I don't know how it's called, but like the long side where you can walk, yeah, and, walk down, yeah, yeah, to, yeah to and the get water. to like different beaches, kind of right. Exactly. Yeah. So we took this, and it was so dark. But the light from the city. Oh, so finally it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was dark. But the light from the city, like we were, like every, we were so exposed. Everybody could see it if okay, the one, if yeah. you want to. So we went and we had sex there on the beach there with those two guys, and then I don't know who it was because we just we just jump on the water. <laughs> Then I believe it was two guys. They came towards uh, towards um, us while we were having sex there, and you yeah. know it was, and it was so sexy. It was so uncomfortable, by the way. The sand. Oh. Yeah, the sand was so uncomfortable. <laughs> like it wasn't like in the movies, you know, in the movies it was so sexy. Oh my god, in the water down there. No, yeah. it wasn't. No. it was not sexy at all, guys. <laughs> it wasn't. I was dying there, but uh, fuck it, I was horny and I just wanted to do this, so we did it. And then those two guys came uh, and came uh, towards uh, us, and we just panic, and we just jump all three of us totally naked, forgot our underwear there, <laughs> just jump on the water and try to swim to the shore. Oh my god! And then we have to wait there in the water, waiting just for this guy to leave leave the place so we can go back and take our Your swimming underwear, suit. Yeah. So we were just waiting there. I thought we, we were there on the water for about ten minutes before they decided to to leave and. <laughs> Like thanks God the left of swimming uh, swimming suit. So yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So they definitely saw us. That's what the reason why they came. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they were like, ooh, these guys are having sex. Yeah, ooh. maybe they want maybe they wanna be a part of it. Who knows? Yeah. Like it wouldn't it Orgy, wouldn't. why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. So that's that was another experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again I was so I was like shaking that I, after after I went home it was I loved it. Mm-hmm. The adrenaline, I loved it. Yeah. But well, I definitely don't do it on purpose. Like, it's not that I'm doing it because, okay, now I like the adrenaline, so I'm going to do it. But when it happens, I when, like it. Yeah. Like, when it happens, you don't back out. It's like, okay, yeah. let's do this. Yes. Oh, that's so, so that nice. Happened. Yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. So kinky. So, uh, it's so kinky. So hot. It's so kinky. Oh. Like, but it was so weird at the same time. But I like the adrenaline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, I, I had a lot of sex there in Spain. I had a lot of sex. Well, they are also very open in Spain to, you know, meet new people and just, just hook up and all that. Yeah, and uh, it's also one thing that my type of guys is usually, like, I don't discriminate, like, no. uh, uh, I like every color, I like yeah. every gesture, I like every race, it's not, it's not, well, there's only one race, the human race, but you know what I mean, I like, yeah. I like all the colors and, and, but but I definitely have a preference to 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 blue guys with blue blue eyes and you know uh, and yeah, yeah. And, you know in white you know white skin because I'm well I'm I'm kind of colored I'm black <laughs> you're black I'm black Latino black Afro Latino so so I definitely like uh, I like I just like things that are different than what I am yeah so that was attractive but so I have never been with all, at that point I have never been with mm-hmm. another guy that wasn't danish you know with blue hair and like blue yeah. sorry blue, blue eyes, eyes or blonde or dark hair and white skin so when i was there in spain that that time i was like okay i have to try something else yeah come on new. those two guys there they also have blue eyes and blonde hair so i was no yeah. i want something else yeah <laughs> <laughs> come on give me something come on. Else. yeah uh, i don't know what no so the day the day after that i definitely i was one with a spanish guy he, he was like very Spanish. He said, hey, habla con la zeta. Con la oh. zeta. Yeah. Amor. Oh, wow. Mm. The, the, the dark hair and the dark skin and this oh. beautiful, beautiful symmetric face and, you know, those br- brown, brown eyes that, you know, look mm. at you and you want to take your clothes off. Well, that was happened. We actually had sex for all all, all night. All oh. night. We had sex all night. Like when oh. I came back from, from yeah. Spain that week, I was, I didn't want to talk about sex anymore. I had fun. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. I had fun, yeah. Because yeah. my first relationship, I was with this guy for five years, and then in this year between my my other boyfriend, yeah, th- that was where I was uh, uh, in Spain. I think okay, I have to try something else. I need to try some yeah. new things. It's five yeah. years with the same guy. I want to. Yeah, try... especially you have the time. You, yeah. you you you're in Spain. You're in another country. Why not? Yeah, and I have yeah. a lot of fantasies. So why not try it out? Because when I came back, I think it's like. Half year after that, I had a new boyfriend. The one I was mm. with for six years. Oh, 
Yeah. And now I'm single again, guys. And now I'm single. <laughs> now you're available. Uh, I'm I'll just, so, yeah. I'll just let your social media yeah, uh, not, down yeah, in the comments. Please, yeah, please, please do. <laughs> I'm available <laughs> <laughs> and single. Uh, so yeah, now I'm single. Now I'm mm-hmm. definitely single. Yeah. Nice. But you said that you are into like guys with blue hair and no, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue <laughs> eyes and yeah, well, and blue blondes hair. and yeah. So is that a person that you would like to be in uh, in a relationship with? Is that somebody that you're looking for normally, or mm-hmm. you're just more for the personality? Or yeah, yeah, uh, that's a good question actually. I love that you asked that, that question. That's my preference. When, when I'm in town, it's not that like uh, I. I only look for guys with blue eyes and blonde hair. I'll, yeah. I'll, I just look around. Of course, if you have blue eyes and blonde hair, then you will have a little bit more my attention. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm not, I'm definitely not closing the doors. Like I have, I've been with different kind of guys with three different kind of, of, of race. Yeah. Uh, so it's not, uh, and I can definitely see myself with a guy with another, it just haven't happened yet. Yeah, it's just more attractive. Yeah, like, and a I do look after the personality. Eyes, yeah. It's so important for me. Of course, you have to look good according to yeah. my standards, right? What I'm, yeah. But the personality is so important. I want to be a gentleman. Mm-hmm. I want you to... I don't like to be disrespected. I will yeah. never disrespect you. Even though if we have a fight, it's not going to be, fuck you, you little bitch, you little hoe. No, yeah, yeah. That doesn't happen. That, that won't happen because the first time you call me a bitch or a hoe or fuck you, you motherfucker you are out of the door because that's not the way we want to talk we're going to contract constructive like if you want to fight us fight like this grown up people that's not going to happen no. so uh, so somebody who can respect me now will definitely respect them yeah. in a loving and cuddling i love to cuddle Ooh. i love a cuddling you yeah. love the cuddles yes yeah. and i'm yeah. very sp- spontaneous i like mm. to try new things i like cool. to get uh, surprises i like to surprise too oh. and a lot of uh, i like a lot of activities when between uh, me and and my partner, yeah. you know, where we learn a lot about each other. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to, to be something that is expensive, you know. It, no. It, it's I'm not talking about the material things, things yeah. you know, just activities together. You can take a walk, out, anything. Yeah. Yeah, that that actually sparks a little bit of interest or more interest that like you can see these people in different kind of situations and see how they act, see how yeah. they are around you. Exactly. That's right. the way and you're those, finding out a lot yeah. of things about the, the guys and about yourself and together. The funny thing is that when I'm, if I'm in the club yeah, and I see a guy that I like, yeah, I hold back. Like I will never, and I've never done it before. I never go over there to the bar and say, hey, I like you. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I'm so afraid of it. And it's a funny thing because I'm so open and yeah. I'm... You like, seem like you know, a very open I'm, person. I'm a yeah. singer. I'm a dancer. I'm always in the, you know, in, on stage. I'm... Uh, I, I, but when it's a guy, I, I get so nervous. I, I don't mm-hmm. know what to say. I get like a little little girl. I don't know what yeah. to say. You like the attention. To... You like to. You like them to come to you. You like to be wanted. I think in that sense, right? Yeah, maybe no. But I want them also to feel that I want them. But I, I guess hold back. I, I'm so afraid yeah. of, of. I guess getting a no. Yeah, maybe. the rejection. The rejection it of it. Be, yeah. Maybe that's that, that's what it is. Mm. I know I felt it a lot of times. Yeah. I felt like I didn't want it to because I was not completely sure. So then I was kind of like, am I going to make a fool out of myself if I do this? Yeah, that too. Right. But you know, there's a sad thing that we thought, well, I still, I'm still acting like that. It's a sad thing because I limit myself and I limit mm. my possibilities, you know? Yeah. That could be a relationship maybe. And yeah. I just lost it because I didn't have the balls to get over there and say, hey, what up? Yeah, but maybe that's for the best because if you didn't felt it in the moment, then maybe it was not worth feeling for. Maybe. Because, you know, if you really feel like, okay, this is an amazing guy, like I really want to go up there, then you would do it. You think so? I have the feeling that you would. I know I would. Like if it would be really like, you know, like that would be like yeah perfection in my in my face right there i'll be like okay i i I have to get this well yeah well let me say it like this if i have a little bit of alcohol in the blood maybe i will do it yeah but i don't know what is so hard well i do know what is hard but but it's just sad that i'm that i have this i create this wall and it's funny because i don't i'm not usually i'm not the kind of person i'm the person who goes over and interact with people also new people i've yeah. always open about everything so but it, exactly in this point i don't know why i i hold back so much mm. it's maybe because you you just need to work on it a bit to get a little bit more courage to and confidence yeah maybe. confidence and 
you just don't you don't have to think about it necessarily okay i'm i'm going to sleep with this guy tonight or something like that or i'm really into this guy you just yeah. have to think about it i'm just going to go and ask him how he is i'm just going to go and ask him like you know how you doing yeah and like stuff like that it doesn't have to be much it's just like you have to have that phrase in your head yeah. how you doing how you <laughs> they, doing just, how you doing yeah <laughs> you just go and ask that that's it oh. not much and then you take it from there oh yeah well because yeah. of how you doing cannot go bad no that's right yeah. But you have to well, I have to I have to learn a lot from you. Oh, we okay. have to go oh, together. Yeah. You have to be my teacher. Oh right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be I'll, I'll be your wing woman. <laughs> yeah. I can have like some kind of ear thing. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Some yeah. And then you and can I'll stand there be behind the door. Yeah. Okay, Felish. <laughs> Say hello to him. <laughs> <laughs> Say how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well, I was in vacation now with uh, with my friend and she got two guys. Really? But it wasn't necessarily because of me. But she got two guys. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't do much. But no, she no. was super. She was super lucky. I was super unlucky. I just got assholes. Oh, so like I yeah, the feeling. Yeah. 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 Is it like you know the moment when you you're kind of like okay, I'll just let her get the guys, <laughs> and then the guys because like the guys they are like in groups like the girls are you know two and two. The assholes always come over and say hey. Yeah. 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 And like. There's always like a nice guy, and then the other one is the asshole. So and she was getting get the, the nice guys, and I was getting the assholes. So I was like, okay. So I was always like going home alone, and she was just like, you know, getting grilled. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know. Yeah. Well, just, you know, just be there for her. You yeah. go, you go, baby. Do your yeah. thing. Do you your go, thing. girl. You go, girl. I can hear you guys, so you keep going. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally in the morning, I woke up, I, I went to the bathroom, and then I, I was hearing something, and I thought, what animal is that? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I was talking with her afterwards, and she was like, that was me. I was having a pillow on my mouth because I was trying to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Well, I, I think uh, uh, I think the, uh, also you guys out there, I, I do believe that everybody has tried that at least one time. That you in a room where you know can hear your friend, you know, yeah. Not even it doesn't even have to be in the other room. It can sometimes be in the same room when they have fun. Yeah. Oh, I've oh, tried that. You tried that too. Yeah, I I'm I was sure. the one. You was the one who <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I haven't tried. And my that friend was literally like yeah. in front of the bed on the like at the table, like it was close yeah. facing the bed, and she was eating a shawarma. You know, <laughs> but you were doing yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe he enjoyed. She enjoyed the mock shawarma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yes, I tried that so many times, so many times. Because I, as I told you before, I like to travel, mm-hmm. but I don't. I love to travel, especially with friends, because. I like to, but that's the reason why I travel so you can experience something yeah. with the yeah. one that you like yeah. and you love. So I like to travel. So we travel a lot together, and believe me, those those guys that I travel, or girls that I travel yeah. with, with they like everybody. You know, they like to have fun, especially yeah. if you're another country. I don't know what what does yeah. it when you're another because... country. You get more horny, and you want yeah. to. It's, I don't know why. It's because you're in another country. Nobody knows you besides your friends. And your friends are, you know, your good friends. Yeah. So they're not going to say anything. They're not exactly. going to judge you. But then the thing is, if you do it in your country, you might actually meet up with those people again. You know, that you oh, fucked with. Yeah, so that's, that's the problem. Reason. That's oh, the problem. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah. Yes, or I've or they are going to be friends with some of your friends, some other friends, you know. And yeah, then and you're, gonna they're going to know. And it's just like a whole circle of Ooh. people knowing about who you've had sex with and what you've done and whatever. And it's in people's brain that yeah, it is. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a subconscious definitely thing. Definitely that. Yeah. Because that's the reason I had day on the beach. Yeah. yeah, like you didn't give a fuck. N- nobody like, knows me though. Like, why not? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's super yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but how how do you actually uh, meet new people normally? Do you go on apps or do you yeah. like to meet them in real life? Yeah. Well, today, right now, this point, at this, yeah. mo- at this moment, um, I actually don't. I don't look for it at this point. I think I don't know what's going. Well, I do know what's going on. It's things to study and the work and the oh, a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, at this in the band, so I don't have I don't have time. But usually, uh, I do have apps. You yeah. know, I also use Tinder. I have mm-hmm. Grinder. I also have uh, Badoo. But I'm, yeah. I do ha- I actually, I still have it right now at this point. But I never, like, I never look at it. Like, I never. Oh, I know the and feeling. Yeah, yeah I, I never, do the same. I like, I'm, I'm not looking for I don't anything. Even swap it's just nothing. No. And if I get out messages, I, I don't even look at them. They're, yeah. just, they're, they're just there. Yeah. Um, 
now if I travel to the funny thing, if I travel to Copenhagen, I'm 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 I like to if I have a little break, I like yeah, to go to go Copenhagen. Bit, yeah. yeah. Also because I live there li- li- live there for six, seven years at one point. So I have a lot of friends there. Mm-hmm. Um and just to dis- disconnect. So when I'm there, I'm definitely gonna go to the gay clubs. Yeah. I definitely go out to the gay clubs and, and you know, explore and have fun. I, I don't know what why, but why while I'm here, I don't look for it. It does happen because yeah. you know you don't have to have you don't have to have an app or no. a website. You know, in town, you know, it just happen when and you can see in the other guy. I can always see in the other guy if he's interested. That's true. So it does happen, but it doesn't have as often as I would like to. Yeah, well, I actually I I feel you in that sense. Yeah. I think it's also I was talking with my with my friends that I don't know what's going on in this city in particular. Like, there's no guys, or like no. there's no like cute guys, or there's no like interesting guys. Like, I don't know if it's the same for yes, you know is. the gay community. Well, it definitely yeah. is. It definitely is. Like, it, well. Or they're super boring. Yeah, it's either exactly. that or like you find cute guys, but they're super boring. I don't know if it's about the city. I don't know what it is. Well, let like me tell you one thing. All of my boyfriends, my, my two boyfriends that I yeah. have, one five, five and another, I, I didn't, they're not from Aarhus. I've been living here most of my life. Yeah. They're not even from here. They, they're one from Copenhagen and the other one is from Aarhus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, uh, so, so I never, I don't, and, and ha- I, I know that it, it, there, there is a gay community here in Odense, and I know them, some yeah. of them, and they introduced me also for. So maybe that's gay. the thing that you know all, know all of them, and no, kind of but, is not. Well, huh? no, some of them introduced me for some of their new friends they have also yeah. gays, but it's mm-hmm. just not. I don't, I don't think they're your type. My type. Like, let me say yeah, it like that. Yeah. My type. Mm-hmm. So I tried, but it's just not my type. Yeah. Like, and maybe not the I, mentality that you want or something like the connection maybe. is not there, right? Maybe. Yeah. It's just, you know, as soon as I'm in Copenhagen, I just think that every guy, not every guy, but a lot of guys, they are so hot. Yeah. Or August. I don't yeah. know if it's the city. I just, I just, as yeah, you said I think it's before. maybe because the city is bigger and the people have more life in them. So somehow maybe yeah. it's more the perception of where they live and what they do in their everyday life, how they spend their time. And, yeah, they, you know, they, they, yeah, that's it a could valid, be. valid could point. Be. Yeah. And maybe we are just like more, more full of life because that's how we are. And then we stick yeah. with each other, and then all the the rest of the people are just boring. <laughs> Somehow I don't know. I I, I just like you to can think myself. Stick with us. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I just like to think myself as yeah. uh, being like a very open person and very like you know full of life. Yeah. As I am, and then you are as well. Yeah. And I think that that's why you don't necessarily or we don't necessarily click with yeah. other people because then I... it doesn't really spark an interest. No. You know, and, for and, and us, I, if they don't. Yeah, and I also do believe that that, and I know that my personality, because because I'm, you know, I'm I'm very sure about what I want and who I am. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's super nice. I I, I yeah. and I love who I am and what I am and yeah. what I stand for, yeah. and I'm very confident in in a lot of points. M- yeah. Most of yeah, I would say that. So I think that 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 can push some guys away. Yeah, the confidence, yeah. The confidence Especially because they, feel, they es- feel like they can keep up or they, yeah. they're not good enough. So why even try? But that not good enough thing is a reason to see a psychologist because yeah. I felt it. I felt yeah. it. And it's not nice to feel like that. That was when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. It was, I, I felt so insecure about myself and yeah. I felt that I was not good enough. And that is something that people should work with. They should not neglect Definitely. it and be like, that's who I am. Because it's not. Like, you can be much more than that. You can be confident. You can live a more happy life if you work with yourself on that. And I think a lot of people nowadays, because of social media, because of uh, society and everything, they are insecure. And they need to work with it. And they need to get out of that vicious circle of going back into it and, you know, comparing themselves with other people and saying that they are not good enough. I totally agree with you. I totally Mm -hmm. agree with you. And and maybe you are good enough and more than that, but you are only limiting yourself. Yeah, you you don't see Yeah, you're ruining from yourself because you don't believe so. Yeah. Oh, people don't believe so, right? Yeah. So, so, so they definitely have to seek some help and and believe in themselves, but it is hard. It's definitely hard. Well, I know that you're dancing and, yes. you know, and you're singing also, and it's all about Latino and sensuality and all that. Yeah. And I actually wanted to ask you, what is your perception on sexuality and dancing and how, and like singing and, you know, being open in that sense? What do you, do you wow. have any experiences with it? Has I it helped do. you in a way? Definitely. Mm. Let me say it like this, being sensual and sexual 
is definitely not a bad thing. And being a dancer as I am is definitely not a bad thing at all. I definitely use a lot of my dance move and a lot of my sensuality and sexu- and my sexuality. I use it in bed. I definitely yeah. use it in bed. And dating too, with you know, it, it, also, it doesn't have to be directly sex. It can also be, you know, just the way you flirt, the way yeah. you move when you walk into a room, when you walk out of a room. When you're trying to impress somebody, when you, even when you talk with your friends while you know that somebody's watching you, even there you can flirt and even there you can do maybe it's small things, but it's things that they actually will notice. Yeah. And it helped me a lot. Also, when I'm on stage, if I'm on stage and I'm performing with my band and I see, you know, around the corner, that, oh my God, this guy is so hot. And I feel some kind of vibe. I do dance a little bit more sensual. I do yeah. am a little bit more sexual. I do, do give, put yeah. your hand a little bit through your hair and like exactly. maybe touch yourself a little bit. A little bit, bit more. To, mm. And, I, and, I, and uh, to will. That was Danish. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I touch myself a little, bit, a little bit more and I turn around and I dance a little bit more sensual. So mm. I definitely use it to my, you know, my, my yeah, in your to, advantage. In yeah. my advantage. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I would keep doing it and it helps a lot. Yeah. That's you know, really nice. And the I... smile, the the way you flirt, the way you move. So my mom always, I, I remember my mom, my mom always uh, told me, even today she always telling me, even if you have go out to, to to take, even if you have to throw the trash uh, out, in those t- ten meters, in those ten meters you have to walk and look good because you never know. Oh yeah. You never know. True. If you just have to go to the, the tank station just to buy something, it can be anything. A glass of water, I don't know, a, a, some gum. Even there, look good, act good, because you never know who's watching you. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people watching you exactly. that you don't know about. Exactly, yeah. and, and and so every time I walk, every time I walk out of my house, I always I always have the the thought, mm-hmm. and it helps. It helps. So I I yeah. do walk a certain way, but of course, if there is somebody that I like or somebody that I I do act more sensual yeah then more... you put a bit more effort yeah, into it right exactly yeah. and i in that do use my background in my cuban and my latin roots and my sensuality and my yeah. dance and my voice everything I, I, and there's nothing bad about the guys by the way if you have something special about you that that you can put to the advantage advantage then use it yeah because I, I do and I think it also helps a bit with the confidence. So if you know how to move a little bit, then you're a bit more loose and then you seem more loose and confident. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Even you know, even though you're just nervous, fake it till you make it. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> fake it till you make it. Because I've done it. I've, I've, I've been faking it to make it a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Um, and it works, guys. I Believe me, it works. It definitely works. So mm-hmm. I definitely, tomorrow, actually, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach... Yeah, you're going to teach some, teach some, some, some salsa, salsa tomorrow. tomorrow for the first time in about five, four or five years. Even there, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to be there. So look yeah. forward to, the, to, yeah. to, to, that, to that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be professional, but I'm definitely going to use my moves too. Mm-hmm. You know, why nice. not? Yeah. You never know. Okay, but what are you looking for right now? Are you looking for anything or you, you said mm. that you're single, so... I'm single and available, let me say it like yeah. that. I haven't actively, actively, I haven't looked for some. As I told you, I don't yeah. even use my apps. I, but if if he's there and if he's happens and if he asked and, and feel yeah. for it, I definitely not going to let it go. Mm-hmm. I definitely not let it go. I promised myself that I will this year do things that I'm afraid to do. Ah. Uh. That's because such a good goal. That's such a good, like, attainable thing to do. It you is. You know, to just set for yourself. I have so many projects, that, uh, and I still have so many projects that are in my head, like, sounds so amazing. And I would have done for many young, many years ago, uh, up to four years ago, but mm-hmm. I never done them because I thought that you don't, you know, you're not good enough. You're not ready for that. Yeah. You, know, you know, the ne- negativity. And I promised yeah. myself that this year, I'll, and I, I'm on it. I'm a- actually manifesting it. Oh, that's uh, so good. Uh, yeah. And I love it because... I don't. I lose more not trying. Actually, that's true. I lose more by not trying. You lose the time. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm doing that. So I'm I'm jumping in a lot of of, of new projects. Uh, also with my singing. Also with my way of 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 flirting with guys mm-hmm. and going through uh, and against my insecurities and my fears. That's really good. Yeah, that's, that's good, really, and really I'm so good. happy. But yeah. believe me, it's not easy. 
No, but it's I won't not. let it. I won't let it win. I, I don't want. I don't want to let, 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 let fear take take over. No. So, no, and you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. So so that's yeah. this my my that's goal really this cool. year and next year too. <laughs> Actually, I was quite surprised for myself. I I made like a list with goals for this year. And I, okay. yeah, and I just threw it out somewhere, like, I haven't thought about it, and I checked it, like, I think a month or two ago, and I saw that I had, like, so many things on the list that I've actually done without, hey. you know, paying attention to it, yeah. and I think it was just in my subconscious, because I set those goals, I wrote them down on a paper, and then I just forgot about the paper, but when I looked at it, I was like, damn, how <laughs> did this even happen? Are you even, are you proud of it? Like, are you yeah, proud I'm of that? Yeah, I'm super proud and of it. And then you did it without even... Yeah, Look without actually focusing on it every day, yeah. but actually just having it in my mind all the time and knowing that, okay, I need to do this, I need to yeah. do this, but not constantly thinking about it. Just I just kind of let my subconscious think That's about it for me. Thing. That's a beautiful right? thing. Yeah. You just live life, enjoy the present, not yeah. think about the future, but... Have it in the back, of, having it in, in the, the back, back of, of your, your mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because that's also like a healthy way to do it. It is. Then you focus on the present. You live life in the now, but you also kind of arrange your future in a way. Exactly, exactly. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, that's so, really good. Yeah, that's really healthy, really good. So if anybody, guys, guys are interested, <laughs> <laughs> write me, DM me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Felix yeah, is available. I'm definitely available. Yeah. Oh, nice. And I was thinking, what kind of advice would you like to give to a person that is maybe you in the past or a person that is going through the same thing that you have been going through when you were younger and you were coming out? You're good enough. You're good enough. Yeah. You are good enough. You are as perfect as it comes. You're good enough. Everything's going to be all right. Just let things happen. Don't worry as much. Don't uh, cry as much as you did. Well, maybe crying was a good thing, but 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 you're good enough. You you are enough, more than enough. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna come out emotional. Yeah, but you good yeah. enough. There was. That's a wonderful thing to say, and I think a lot more people should say that to themselves every day. Yeah. Without yeah. I tried for many years to, many many years to be. To be better, or to be another person, to, yeah. to you know, to, to make everyone everyone happy, as I told you before, my yeah. mom happy and my family happy, and not myself. And even after that, then there was other kinds of life uh, battles there. Yeah. Where I thought that I wasn't good enough. Are you good enough? And I know today that I'm good enough, but that That's... took some time to to learn. Yeah, and to realize it for yourself, because yeah. I know that. You know, a lot of people can tell me or you what what to feel and what to do and what it would be that. good. But the thing is, you know what is good and you know when you're good enough and you know when you feel yeah. okay with yourself. Yeah, definitely. Living by other people's fears or by other people's opinions, that, that's what, what I did for many, many years. Yeah. You know, and just to make everyone happy because that's the way we do it in our family, right? Yeah. Um, so it took me some time. I'm, I'm not emotional because I'm not. I'm not feel that I am good enough. Well, I'm not definitely there. I'm not all completely there yet. I'm just crying because I'm emotional because if I just knew at that point what I knew today, it would be a lot easier. But, but that's the part yeah. of life, I think. You know, you have yeah, to learn. Process. You have to. Yeah, this is a process. You have to stumble. You have to fall. You have to cry. You have to. Yeah, and that's the thing. You're not gonna enjoy it in the moment. No, no, but you're going to enjoy it later, later when you look on. back at it yeah. and you're like, damn, I did that. And look at me now. Yeah. Like after I've done all these things, I'm so strong. Oof, yeah. It was a battle. You know, life yeah. is a battle. Yeah. And it will keep, it will keep being a battle. I'm not, we not finished learning ever. And I'm totally aware of that. But it is easier now. Let me say that. It is easier yeah. now. That is really good. Yeah. And I'm really happy that you got here so far you know and yeah. you have more to learn but you're still you know on your journey and you still. enjoy the process and you're there still. But and i would not give up no that's no. good that's the spirit that's the spirit yes <laughs> yes and yeah. thank you so so much for being on the podcast and thank you. sharing your wisdom that you yeah. have thank yeah. you a lot of more in the future <laughs> yeah i hope so yeah. thank you for having me it was yeah. it was a pleasure oh thank you it was you. really a pleasure i really liked yeah. it yeah i'm happy so to hear that here. 
yeah oh, i will leave is... <laughs> no okay well then i i might have you on another podcast as well yeah definitely yep. just call mm. me. you can always call me oh that's great here. that i'm i'm happy to hear that because i i have some talks that i really want to want to have yeah. with different perceptions and i think that would be really cool let's do that let's yeah. do that i'm okay. so open Perfect. i think it was so so nice i was so cozy here in my bedroom in the bedroom yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice really so thank yeah. you yeah thank, thank you, you as well and for everybody at home listening to this i hope this helped you in any way and i hope you learned a little bit at least from this discussion that we had today and until next time yeah. take care bye guys bye bye <laughs>